Fox Carolina first alert weather. 716 now on this Tuesday morning. Hope your day's off to a good start, everybody. Weather's not going to help us too much in that regard out there today. It's a first alert weather day, which is why you should make sure you have the Fox Carolina first alert weather app primed and ready to go on your phone. You can scan that QR code. I'll leave it up here for a few seconds for you. You can track the rain and or wintry mixed precipitation, especially in parts of the mountains that'll be tracking through this morning. But the rain is going to be a factor for most of us throughout the day. So having that radar in your pocket will be uh, handy to see how things are shaping up in your area. Here's where we are most concerned right now, though, on first alert radar. You can see here in parts of the mountains, mostly limited to the highest elevations around Cane, Grassy Creek, and on the east side of Asheville here, closing in on I-40. Anywhere you see these pink shades kind of tossed in with the regular rain, that's a combination of either some sleet, maybe some mixed in snow, or most concerningly, the potential of some freezing rain that could lead to some icy conditions on some surfaces in those areas. So all the more reason to be especially cautious. If you have to travel in those spots, give yourself plenty of time. Time. Just make sure that uh, you are, uh, you know, taking it nice and slow out there on those roads in case they are icy. But at the very least, they're likely to be wet. So even if it's not freezing rain, you still have some trouble out there this morning. That uh, mostly light rain now extends from Spartanburg also toward the east side of Greenville and then kind of trailing back into this larger swath of more steady rain that's developing and moving into northeast Georgia. All of that will continue to track northeastward across the rest of the area throughout the morning. And we'll see a few of these periods of sometimes more uh, steady and intense rain coming through with this latest system throughout the day. This area of low pressure is tracking right along the Gulf Coast here this morning. The low itself is going to stay south of us, but we have this big plume of moisture coming up out of the Gulf of Mexico as a result. That's what's going to keep these periods of rain pumping in across the area throughout the day. So even once we get beyond that uh, wintry threat in the mountains this morning, expect some soggy conditions uh, to persist for everybody pretty well into this afternoon. You see it there from 8 o'clock to noon. We may get a couple of breaks in the action from time to time, but another midday push of some steadier, heavier rain will be rolling on in, and it looks like we'll have at least one more round of similar conditions going through about the 3 to 4 o'clock time frame this afternoon before that slowly gets out of here around drive time tonight. We'll likely still have uh, wet roads left over for the evening commute tonight, but at least conditions overall will tend to improve, and then we'll steadily dry out as we move into the overnight period. Good news about this rain, though, is that it is more drought help. A lot of us likely to pick up anywhere from three quarters to an inch of rainfall and potential is there for some locally higher amounts. Not quite as heavy as what we picked up with Nicole, but at least a little more in the way of some drought relief. And again, a first alert weather day. Mountains expect a morning wintry mix, then rain and chilly. High temperature only 42 for you today and not much better in the upstate. Periods of rain, chilly and raw. High temp only 44. As we should be seeing highs in the 60s this time of year. Shows you how well off the mark we are. Good news is that the rest of the week from here is quiet, but it does remain on the chillier side with upstate highs staying largely in the 50s through the upcoming weekend and a long stretch of highs in the 40s and lows in the 20s for the mountains through the next week.